Hello everyone, I am Pradarshini Sanjeev Kumar, Technical Marketing Engineer from the Switching PME team. In today's session, we will talk about source interface for SFTP and SSH as a part of the AOCX 1013 update. So SSH, Secure Remote Management. So the use of source interface is that admins can control which network interface the switch uses for secure connection. And this helps in enhancing security and manage session consistency. With respect to SFTP, for secure file transfer, it ensures that file transfers adhere to predefined network paths. And it also helps to specify network interface for secure file transfers to and from a remote server. So let's move on to why this is important. So the first thing is that firewalls the first thing that we have to consider here is firewalls and traversing a firewall. So firewalls often have specific rules and policies that dictate which traffic is allowed or denied based on source and destination addresses. So by specifying a source interface for SSH and SFTP, administrators or users can ensure that these protocols originate from a designated and authorized location which aligns with the firewall policies. So by doing or having a source interface for SFTP or SSH, this can be used to show that traffic originates from one interface IP rather than any from the switch for easy identification. And one important thing to note is that source interface is not configurable on management PRFs. It can be done only on user created PRFs. So here is an example of how the uh, CLI would look from the 10th update. So the CLI command goes like IP source hyphen interface SSH client and you specify which particular interface you're showing it to. Or you can also do IP source hyphen interface SSH client and that IP directly that you want to define as the source interface. This is supported in both IPv4 and IPv6. So we use the same command for IPv6. Here I have also shown an example of how you configure it with the VRF name. Similarly, for SFTP, I have IP source hyphen interface, SFTP hyphen SCP interface and that interface ID or the IP, or you can also do the VRF. So that is pretty much it with respect to the source interface for SFTP and SSH. Thank you for watching the session.